Hello! I've been working on building a character customization system inspired by games like Elden Ring and Dark Souls in Unreal Engine. In this video, you can see me generating random characters using my character creator. If you'd like to learn how I built this system step by step from complete scratch, check out my How to Make a Character Creator course in Unreal Engine. There'll be a link to it in the description of this video. Just a note, I won't be covering how to make the 3D model from scratch, although I will be covering things like how character creators modify messages to make them look different, using morph targets, and how they add facial markings to characters, and all of that type of stuff which is involved when making a character creator system. And the models you see are fully rigged to the Unreal Engine mannequin, so you can use them just like normal if you ever just wanted to use them. I'm about 95% done with it, although I may add some more final touches to it. Let me know if there's a specific feature you want to see. I haven't done this yet, I would like to try and integrate this with Unreal Engine's new Mutable plugin. I know they recently like made this um, character creator in Unreal Engine 5.5, and I want to like try merging my system in Unreal Engine 5.5. Okay. With that said, I'm now just going to spend the rest of this video going over all the different features in the character creator system. I may bring this to the Unreal Engine Marketplace or Fab. Let me know if you'd like that. Okay, so if I just go over to Customize, it'll take me to this General tab. In total, there are four tabs which I can basically use to customize my character. So I can decide the name of my character, the gender of my character, so I can be female or male. I can choose the class of my character. Right now, there are only three classes. I plan for there to be four, so there's the deprived class, where you wear no clothes, there's the knight class, where you basically um, wear some knight armor, there is the wizard class, where you're a wizard, and then I'm just going to add one more class, which is going to be the archer class. You can save your character, so in character creators you can normally like save the template of your character, and then we can also just load up the character again. Right now I have no characters, but if say I save this character, I could then just um, load him up again, and I can also delete characters from the character creator. Next, let's go over some of the options. I'm just going to change myself back to the deprived class. Then if I go over to the build, the first option we have is the age. I basically use a material instance to control how old my character will look. So as we drag this up, my character will become more wrinkled. There's also one for muscle. So as I drag this, my character will become slightly more toned. We can also adjust the size of some of my character's bones. I'm actually going to have a video on this, but I basically um, use a slider to basically make uh, my character's head bigger in the animation blueprint. I can make it bigger or smaller. I can do the same with the chest, bigger or smaller. And basically all of these um, bones. We can basically code this so it can work with any bone, but I just decided to make it work with um, those five bones. I can also customize the skin color of my character so I can make them like green. I can make them like dark, bluish, and so on. I'm just going to change them back to white. I then have the face. This basically uses morph targets. I made a video about how to create morph targets in Unreal Engine, but um, there are a bunch of different morph targets. And by having a bunch of different morph targets which we can use together, we can really like customize how our character's face will look. So there's the face fat, cheek size, cheekbone. You can have a double chin. You can have ear size, big or small, ear angle. Ear pointy, nose width, nose length, you get it, there are a bunch of different nose settings, there's some for like lip, it's top lip, bottom lip, eye height, <laughs> eye size, eye width, I'm making him look like a freak kind of, I, um, eyebrow angle, <laughs> and then we can customize the color of their eye, so in his left eye, maybe he'll, maybe we'll make it like red, I can also control his left eye color, and then I can make the eye brightness, um, eye, and then there's also this facial marking system, so I can add facial markings onto my character, let me make this, um, let's say red. I can also customize basically where the facial marking will go. So you can go like here. There are also a bunch of different facial markings. So there's like um, this freckles one. There's this like Aaron Jaeger one. So I was inspired by like Attack on Titan, like the Titan marks. There's just this general face one. And there's like this tribal face paint one. Then I can customize my player character's hair. 
So I can give him like this hair. Again, I can control the hair color. Maybe I'll make it like blue. I'll just leave mine. I can give this guy a beard if I want. And we can control the width of the beard and the depth of it. And then we can control the beard color and then we can give this guy a mustache. And then once you're happy with your character, we can just go confirm. And then if I just go play, it's going to load me up as this character. So you can see I'm this weirdo. And if so, I play my game again, it will load me up as this character. And then this time, let me create a different character. So I'm just going to create a female. Let's make it so she has a big head. And maybe I'll make it so she's like green. I know she looks really weird. Actually, they look kind of like scary a bit. I'm just going to, I think it's the eyes. And I'm just going to make her eyes match. And for hair, let's just keep us. Let's just keep her that hair. And then for class, I'm gonna make her a knight. So we have this weird green female with a big head. For the name, I'm just gonna call her Hannah. I can save this character. Then if I just go confirm, if I get play, I'm gonna play the game as this character. So, if you want to learn how I built this from complete scratch, you can get my advanced character customization course. There'll be a link to it in the description of this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. The course is in early access. I have finished recording all the videos, I just need to edit them and then upload them. So that should hopefully be done within like the next two weeks.